Okay, so today, what am I going to start with? Uh, first thing I need to actually probably start with is this. Finding the external files and the retrieval of resources and that is being done on the first importer. Rather than using the importer for all the groups, I'm specifying it. This is not how it's going to be ending up. It's going to, of course, have to go through multiple importers in order from the base to whatever the session data is and I should probably get that fixed up before I go much further so that when I do externalize the data properly out of here to submodules I'll be able to actually uh, especially when it's like distributed across more than one um, data set you know if there's the, the data a and b and c and d and so on and so forth i need to be able to actually iterate through all of those to find that where the most pertinent data can be found not just specifying it manually like i do here so with that in mind one of the first things i need to do is look at how this is done this is a git resource this a distributed YAML importer, so it's this one. Yes, it is. Let's click that right. Okay. Based on the importer base. Now these are going back to import state in here. We the yes this we create an importer the persistent importer that's the one I'm basically using right now wait actually yeah where is this YAML importer from I'm actually not entirely sure where this is from. Is this still a holdover from in here? Yeah, it is. The test generator. Rather than... Okay, so that's another thing I have to deal with. So I may actually want to focus on this specifically. I need to, I need to change this over from using this to going to the simulation... Uh, set importer and then from there I can do the multi importer mechanism so when we're at this point we of course have P simulations okay got that I'm pretty sure under group data to do we'll have the done not persistent importer that should effectively be the same so we'll do first make sure we can build and run this audio up a little bit hmm We're still good, we're still good. Okay. Place it like this. It's this one. It's a pointer. Yes. So that. And that. Would it actually? I don't know if it's this one. Hold on. That's actually an interesting question. I wouldn't even know if that could, could even bind. Could this even bind? Because I don't necessarily know if it's that one. I'd have to try Porter Base. Can it like properly follow through? 
Yeah, it can? I'm sorry. This is very bizarre. Are you... Th this works? I guess it does. I wouldn't... I can't imagine how... Since this is a... This is for shaders. Okay... That, that, that. If I replace them all, it's getting a pointer to a non existent function and then it's falling through to underneath or something. I'd, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's just a mystery of the standard bind. Maybe at the time of binding, it actually follows this through to determine the actual f function. Whatever. It seems to work. So I'll kind of roll with it. So that, that. We switch that out for this. No, oh, I didn't want that. to be working just fine. It's fine. It's ev everything is fine. Okay, that means there's no more YAML importer, right? Okay. That means I can give it to this. Test generator. I'm pretty sure I still use this. for that for the moment okay but that yaml that specific yaml this is gone even if that remains get this in at least. What do I have here exactly? Rolling data. Hmm. Um,
so so the Point at the virtual. These class functions. Okay. So that's a step in the right direction. Okay, that comes the other part where we're going to have to instead for group data, we want to be able to go through all of these instead. Standard bind, okay. Let's actually have a look at this. Yeah, it's just a function. Hmm. Takes in that, spits that out. That's all it cares about. So what we can probably do instead Resource definition. For retrieving data, we can have a new function that instead is for resource. Base star I mean that's what this function does already with a boolean and that may be a bit smarter to do than that mm, but for the moment We'll have that, and then we'll have another It's going to pull it in external file locations. What is it taking? It just takes in that. Okay. So much like this. these two functions part of group data we'll move that down so we're looking at towards the bottom get resource stuff yeah
So what we're going to do is we're going to return, or rather, then we call into that instead. It's not empty, and we return it. Found path, we'll call it that. Otherwise, we're going to go through for auto. Gotta move backwards as well. For here, then it's empty. We just return what we already constructed earlier. Okay. As long as that compiles in. Well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to change up the main application to use these functions instead. So instead of that, dot get resource, it'll be this, mm, this. That, and it's that, or oh, it just returns that. 
like that. Simple. Ain't all gonna work. Ooh, right. It's confused as to which one. So I'll need to, I'll add a two for the moment. Okay, that'll work now. Then we've got to do the same thing for external file path. We're just going to be swapped over to this. External file. And I'm going to change it up for that. File that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, there. We go. And it's still alive, which is good. Okay, put these together. That, that, and that, okay. Now I'm interested about this import state. Um, there's a test registrar that goes into the test generator, okay. What am I doing with this test generator? I go into here, go to import state, create importer. This is going into here because that's the test generator, right? Hmm. Okay, not entirely sure. I'll leave it as is for the moment. Put this in. These in. And these have been switched over to use this. General group, da group data, so it'll iterate through. And be usable with the non-persistent group, hopefully.
We're done at trivial cases. Okay. Okay. If that's the case, let's see if I can uh, solve this around a little bit. I'm going to see if I can split the data up just a little bit. So we currently have the data A, so we'll have, you know, um, we'll call persistent. That'll be like the final one. So I need these three. So you have dependencies. No, there's no dependencies for this one, but there is one for this. Um, or rather, it's the other way around, isn't it? Persistent is dependent on the data A. And would also be like what? I double check. Dependencies. There we go. Dependencies from name and group ID. Okay. So we'll say the group ID is. Just say it's zero. Okay. And we can say resource next is one, next is one. It doesn't actually have any data. It's just pulling all its data from the data A for the moment. It should be a very simple one. So go in here, we do that. It's That's another thing I need to do. So add search paths for finding state data. I mean, I kind of have search paths here, but it's very generic right now. Or would it actually, no, it should just be since I do that, I could just do persistent, right? Realistically, I go to this point. do that carry on no it does not happen could not find importer for state data at path persistent okay not quite so we go into like this fun okay so it'll be inside of this function somewhere that we're having problems wait is that what's going on? I'm not using the search paths to find it. I'm assuming, okay. Okay, very strange, but we'll do it. I'll need to figure out my previous logic for that. Probably I was assuming like you'd always like be you would have gotten this from like a file system selector, like open window dialog or something. Otherwise right now it'll be fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. So go through. No such file or directory this. 
Cursor directory, directory. Cannot open directory. Okay, that's a little bit of a bug. So we start here. Resource definitions. Entity index data. Group resource index data. See, those are required. Let me get into this point. Let me try it. Go in. Import resource definitions for this. Um, if not, exists, if it doesn't exist, then we just return. We, we succeeded. Fantastic. Same thing on here. Instead, If this doesn't exist, then just return null pointer. Exit out quickly. Excellent. Now that makes sense. Okay, this makes sense because, of course, they're not long, they're long, nah, no longer part of the persistent data group, which is the one I'm exporting. But the fact that the resources are still there is not as positive. Did something happen? Did this update? No, it's still the old one. I could probably have to figure that out just a little bit later. Really? I'll have to start going back and actually putting these back in. Dang.
if Let's have a look, quick look. What do we got? Uh, that, that, that. External file searches to importers, which will be this, not this, but it'll be this. I don't know how I missed all these. This is all loader stuff. So you can get that. Load or fix up. Okay. Fix those up. Okay. Okay, uh, now I'm going to look at why I'm exporting resources, which I don't have. The exporter is still really, really not there. Okay. I'm just exporting everything anyways. I'm not actually checking for anything yet. Hmm. That's not great. Mostly focus on the importing. I've kind of let export fall by the wayside. This is all manually done. It's not great. Okay, leave exporting for a moment. Uh, the important thing is, though, if I am to check after we import stuff. Okay, so here. Okay, rather than it being at absurdly high numbers, all these things should be zero based. The entity, yeah. Oh my 
god. Visibility nonsense. Okay, we're here. This has... Okay, I can just do it here. Where is it? There we go. Get. Loaders 2, pools. Entity name map. ID to editor. Ooh. That ain't right. What about on oh, resources? Let's see, armature. Position zero has an idea of something ridiculously high. Okay, so not really great. Especially when we get down here, right? There's just really high numbers. They shouldn't be, they should be zero based, right? Because if I check The group data, um, dynamic groups, the first one exists, and we have this. It's called, it, this is the data A. Next ID is one. That looks off. That especially looks off as well. Okay. So let's say we go here. We've set up Okay, I'm only getting the index data for the top level group, which I guess makes sense because the other groups should just stay static. You, you, you shouldn't add or remove to base groups. And you can add and remove content, but you shouldn't be able to do that for like resource to overwrite those resource IDs or entity IDs and whatever they're set in stone. So that does make sense, yes, still. What we have to do here is, let's say we're going through here. So we're here. We're going through an importer. And this is the group importer for specifically the group data of group value of zero. this first dynamic group, which is A330. Yes. Okay, we're here. So the group translator, which is going to translate absolutely nothing. Why do I not have a translator for this?
This is the dependency importer. It's this one, right? Mm -hmm. um, this group value of zero. We need to create a new translator for this. So this is the group dependencies for this one. Hmm. We seem to have a fundamental issue with this. That being, I'm not actually providing like a default group, am I? That's not what I was looking to do. Go down to here. I have the group translator. By default, I'm always assuming it's the persistent group. Maybe I should be passing this in all of the time. thinking I'll actually probably want to change that up to be like the current the starting group or the default group unless no but inside of okay this this guy when I'm in here he should already know who he is right if I've been here the first time it'll be for group zero this importer should know that I'm part of group zero. So skip that. Yeah. Okay, I'm inside of here. I'm inside of this. This is, this is the group I'm part of. Okay. So I don't need to pass it in there, but I do need to pass it in from here to this. So here, ID. Initial group, default group, starting group. Default group. We do the same thing here.
node default ID type. Okay, ID type is gone. Okay. So moving back to here, this, this, M group. There'll probably be another location somewhere else. Yes, there is. But not the one I was thinking of. Hmm. Not looking great. These functions are what they're assuming. Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe what if... Is there another way to do this? I mean, I could rely back on the group translator. If group translator, then I change persistent ID into whatever it's supposed to be now instead. That could, okay, uh, when, I, when I create, close those to the right. When I'm creating these, here, no. In the import state. Hmm. I can when I'm creating the translator. Um ID, uh, default group. I think this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have this. And then we're going to have one which is the default group translates
translates into that. Okay. Then what we're going to do instead in ID back back yeah back both these up. Almost we want to get rid of the ID type. That's gone. Instead, 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 in ID optional, we change it to, this just always happens. Group value, like that. Else that. Okay. Uh, so this is now going to become group value. Not group value. This can't be group value. This can be this instead. That should be make it better, easier to work with. I mean, if I'm going to be care, because I'm going to carry around the default group translation with me anyways, I may as well just reuse the translator that I already have. So we don't need this. Okay, that's great. We do that, then we're going to be coming into here. It's part of this, so we're inside of this one. We do have a group translator, right? Yes, we do. We have one translation. That's the persistent group into that. Okay. So resource is becoming what? Five. Sorry, who are we? We are mesh material, which is number five. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. And now the rest of the resources are gone. And they're being replaced by this. And yes, that makes sense. They're now a specific group type. Um, if I go to test export dependencies, that's not so great. one thing at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up group translator. going to add some documentation to this if I can
set of um, that the Set of group ideas that is translated to Okay. Now I'm interested in this dependencies and what is going on on that. Like how? How's it doing this? Why? Why is it doing this? Okay, so we're going in, we're going to go into this function here. Now this is interesting. P group What? 
Yeah, okay, wonderful, I don't care. Wrong place. This is the place I care about at the end. We're going in. Great. So we have groups. These dynamic groups have what? Okay. What's going on inside of here? Maybe I'm just... Okay. So group the value that's going to change to zero. That makes sense. The first one does have something. Yes. You write that one out. Fantastic. So we have one node out. We go to the next one. Group ID equals value to group. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very interesting. I was reconverting it twice. First one makes sense. Even if it's not showing up there. Mm, okay. That's great. This will be no pointer, yes. This will be no pointer, yes. Okay. Now, this has been corrected. Wonderful. See data. Makes sense. That also makes sense. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, one last thing I can probably do for the moment go back to export, only export items that are part of this or no, what if I modify them? That is... That would require me to be able to determine, overwrite, and then determine if it's been overwritten into comparisons, which I'm not quite up for quite yet. Okay, what I can do then for the moment, though, is dependencies, resource, state, yeah, okay. What if I move over a couple of items? Let's say test collision shape. What if I was to say move camera over into 
Oh, not a file. State. Okay, it's uh, VS Code has decided to crap out. First try. Bring it back over. Okay, lovely. Uh, move over. Change this to be like two. I guess let's uh, just see if we can actually if we actually have the camera stuff by going into. Here, no, 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 no. Camera should be. Pardon from this one, the persistence one. So that's definitely not ha not correct. Import state. What about okay? When I'm doing dependency, here we go. State data. This one. Get past all that nonsense. Okay, we're in here. This is great and all. Go into YAML read entity. We're here, group translator. Is there a group translator? There is a group translator for this one. Okay. Why is there a group translator here? For the top level, Why is there P simulation set getting the data group data persistent importer? It's not there. But we're in it, we're inside of here. So this, no, wait. We're inside the importer, which means we're in here. Which means we have the M group of that.
it's the M wait. Targeted group ID, okay. I'm not even using that anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Where's the group translator coming from? This group translator. There is one here. Supposedly. But why? Where did it come from? I thought they would have been optional. They're not optional. Hmm. So I need to make them optional. Hmm. Or, hmm. Let's have another look in. Because if, if, if they can't find the translation, going to do this stuff then it's going to read the ammo it's going to go in here it's going to go inside come on finally in here we got we start with the persistent group value that's great we're starting on 14 we didn't pull anything in Ooh, crap I need to start on that So that would just be overwritten by whatever the value was in there instead. And that was the issue. Okay, great. We go back inside to here. We now have entity, which is still one. Why? Come back through. Group values that great. Translator, we're now going to try to translate and then we're going to return invalid ID. Crap, that's the issue. And I don't know if invalid ID is <sighs> by group zero or something else. I just don't know. That's not good. Hmm. 
Okay, realistically what I really I need to do is I need to figure my translator. Translator, translator, translator. I don't necessarily want to have a translator if I don't need it. Okay. <clears throat> if I set the group translator as part of uh, whatever, okay. I'm not going to figure this out. I'm at the age of exhaustion right now. I'll try to figure this out later uh, tomorrow. Cheers.